Sony has gone ahead and announced their long-awaited next show, presumably meant to slot in where their traditional E3 conferences used to be. A 30-minute state of play which we have known in the past to be reserved for at most mid-scale announcements might not seem like a fitting replacement for what used to be among the most hype-filled, extravagant industry events there used to be, but ultimately what matters is the content of the presentation. And while, as mentioned, there is a history of state of play streams routinely being underwhelming and disappointing, we're gonna do something really stupid and dangerous in this piece. We're going to the winds and getting hyped because of an unerringly naive belief that around what used to be E3 season, Sony will want to hit hard. So, here are 10 predictions for what we hope to see happening at Sony's State of Play stream next week. If even half of these come to pass, we think it'll end up being a pretty good show. PSVR 2 This is the most obvious one because it's actually explicitly confirmed. Sony has promised to show off PSVR 2 games in this show, from first to third parties, in conjunction with their recent statement that they are planning on having 20 total games available for the new peripheral at launch, one can assume a decent chunk of this 30-minute stream will be spent on VR. Hopefully we get to see a lot of big-budget PSVR 2 exclusives that can incentivize an upgrade to the new headset. And hey, who knows, maybe we get some details on when it launches and how much it costs too. The Last of Us Factions The standalone multiplayer game that was once meant to be compared to The Last of Us Part II has long since become its own full-fledged, ambitious Naughty Dog project. It's been a long time coming, and we are almost two years removed from when The Last of Us 2 came out, but hopefully we finally get to see what a fully-fledged multiplayer game from Naughty Dog looks like during this State of Play stream. Will it maintain the amazing mechanics and sandbox design from Part II? Will it maintain Naughty Dog's penchant for narrative focus while being a satisfying multiplayer game? We can't wait to see what the answer to these questions might be. The Last of Us Remake The single most redundant and pointless remake of all time, the much-leaked The Last of Us Remake, is a remake of a less than 10-year-old PS3 game we already got an extensive PS4 remaster of, and is now getting a brand new TV show adaptation. And what I'm trying to say is, if there's one game that didn't need a remake, it was The Last of Us. But hey, it's happening. And personally, if they can adjust the gameplay to resemble the incredible pitch perfection that its sequel exhibited, I'll be there for it. The Last of Us remake is supposed to be launching this year, which leaves a very narrow window for it being announced, dated, and marketed. If you think about it, assuming there is any truth to the rumors, we should see it next week for sure. Third Party Stuff Sony's State of Play announcement explicitly emphasizes that third-party games will be shown off, so we should get to see a fair few of them at this stream. Probably a Sony-backed Silent Hill revival is something that has been leaked so often we might as well put it here for completion's sake. There are also games like Gotham Knights, Suicide Squad, Hogwarts Legacy, and perhaps even Soul Hackers 2 that we might get more of a look at come next week. Hopefully, at least some of them get concrete release dates that they actually manage to hit. Final Fantasy 16. Yes, Final Fantasy gets its own entry because it's Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 16 is apparently almost done and nearing release, and the developers have told us they are getting ready to show it. So, they might as well show it, right? While it's unclear whether or not the game will actually release this year, in fact, I'll go out on a limb and guess it won't. It can still get shown off in great depth. We haven't actually seen as much of it as we might like. Hell, it might even get a proper release date, even if that release date ends up being beyond this year. Whatever it is, we just want to see more of it. Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two. If the idea of Final Fantasy getting one entry to itself made you angry, boy, you must be frothing at this point. But no, jokes apart, Final Fantasy VII Remake is a huge deal, almost as big a deal as a new numbered entry in the series, actually. And ordinarily, we would assume that the developer would hold off on marketing it until 16 is out. However, just a few weeks ago, they shared that they plan on revealing more information about the next entry in this multi-part reimagining of the original beloved game in June, which mysteriously enough happens to coincide neatly with when the state of play will be. Might we end up seeing not one, but two Final Fantasy games at this state of play? We can only hope. More PC games. 
Sony is all in on PC gaming at this point, and the company plans on upping its output on the platform massively in the next couple of years. What this means is, we're probably going to see a lot more PC announcements from the house of PlayStation in the coming months. At this point, given how well Sony's existing titles have done on PC, the sky is the limit. Returnal, Ghost of Tsushima, The Last of Us Remake, The Last of Us Factions, Horizon Forbidden West, we'll probably see at least some notable PC-centric announcements from Sony at this show. For those who have yet to make their peace with Sony embracing PC gaming, well, you have about a week or so to come to terms with it. Forspoken It's unclear how good or not Forspoken will end up being. It hasn't looked the most inspiring in its showings. The developer who is developing it doesn't have the best track record, and a relatively late delay are all things that are working against it at the moment. But hey, it can still end up surprising us. Hopefully, it blows our socks off with an inspired showing next week. First Party Updates Sony's slate of officially announced first-party games is surprisingly slim at the moment. We know God of War Ragnarok is due out this year, and we know Spider-Man 2 and Wolverine are due out someday. And that's about it. With Horizon and Gran Turismo both out earlier this year, there's not a lot of projects officially confirmed that we know of. So hopefully we see some more announcements and reveals from Sony here. We've already mentioned the two Last of Us games, but how about Death Stranding 2? Norman Reedus literally confirmed it just the other week, so we know it's happening. There have been various rumors about a new Sly Cooper, Twisted Metal, and Wipeout game, among other things. And while who can say how accurate they might be, they do point to the fact that Sony's upcoming slate is a giant question mark at the moment. Hopefully we can get to see at least a couple of major new projects announced and or shown off come this state of play. God of War Ragnarok If God of War Ragnarok is due out this year, which Sony and Santa Monica Studios both insist it is, then time is running out for Sony to announce when that might be. A new trailer confirming a release date for September or October this year isn't out of the question, and we imagine it will be either the opener or the capstone to the State of Play stream. Which means that even if none of the other stuff on this list ends up happening, at least we are guaranteed one incredible announcement at the show. Unless Ragnarok ends up being a no-show too, hopefully not. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.